Testing, testing. Uh, first, thank you to Mr. John Scott for that awesome uh, slideshow. Got me a little emotional, so I don't know how that's gonna. This speech is gonna go. Yeah, so I like the horns too. You can keep that going. I like that. So uh, I hope you guys are doing well tonight. It's just like a really unique situation, and it kind of fits our class because I would say to say this class is a unique class is being an understatement. Unique in our accomplishments, unique in our personality, and so it's only fitting we'd have a unique senior year. I started this speech the way the majority of high schoolers start things, at the last minute. But as I've heard countless times throughout my years in high school, if you wait until the last minute, it only takes you one minute. <laughs> <laughs> and so, <laughs> Kingston is unique itself. Um, it's an uncommon town. And I think our goal in life should, to, should be to become uncommon amongst uncommon people. And I think that so far our class has managed to do just that. This class has an incredible amount of skills and talent and it comes in a variety of different forms. It comes in the forms of future welders, future teachers, future doctors, future farmers, future engineers, and many more. Without the four years of hard work at KHS and a strong support staff for each of these students, none of these things would be possible. On behalf of the class of 2020, I'd like to thank the administration from the top to bottom. There's too many to name all the people that have touched me and my classmates throughout the year, um, emotionally and everything like that. So just um, in general, all the administration staff. This includes former staff who are no longer a part of the Kingston Community Schools family. I'd like to thank our class advisors especially, Ms. Paula Salada and Mr. Brandon Jones. I want to say a special thank you to the parents, family, and guardians, and aunts, and uncles, and all of that of our class for their constant love and support. And an extra shout out to my parents and my family. I love you guys. I know I'm not necessarily here to give advice, but I wanted to leave everybody with some points that I believe will suit us well as a class to do, <coughs> us well as a class as life goes on. First, I'd say don't be afraid. The world is going to throw curveballs your way. The world is unforgiving and tough. But I believe Kingston has made each and every one of us tougher. Don't be afraid of the bumps in the road. Next, I'd say do what is right. This is easy to say, but it's hard to do. Times will come in life where you need to make choices. I would just say stay true to yourself and trust your gut. Lastly, build the community. There's no doubt in my mind that members of this class will go on to do great things. What I want to see happen is that these people keep Kingston in their heart. No matter where they go, this town should be forever with them. And one day, these people can come back and build this great community. That's all I have. Thank you guys for coming tonight. Thank you to my fellow classmates. Uh, thank you, good, good speech, Jack, Joe, everybody who's spoke so far. Very well written, and I'm gonna pass this on to the next speaker. Thank you.